Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We've got a pretty strong wind going out there. We also have a few clouds that are forming up. Uh, there's actually a cold front that's just sort of sweeping on through. It's mostly off to our east. We're certainly not going to get uh, the rainfall from it, but we're getting some wind. Uh, temperatures today uh, managed, uh, you know, about 60, upper 50s, uh, low 60s, uh, a lot of spots, and uh, that's kind of uh, where we are uh, right now. Uh, and then you take a look across the state, uh, you can kind of see spring coming in. 80 in Palm Springs today, while it was still in the 40s and low 50s up there uh, in the Sierra. So, you know, it depends on where you're going this time of year because it's not the same everywhere, certainly uh, now as we get past winter and we start creeping into spring. Middle 60s, Sacramento, upper 60s in Fresno, Bakersfield about 68. We've got a 71 Santa Barbara, so some downsloping winds there. And temperatures now have really dropped off. You can see the 30s back up there in Lake Tahoe, still doing 78 though in Palm Springs. That's partially uh, due to this cold front again that's coming in. Mostly with just cooler air, though, and a few clouds, uh, but not many. You can see uh, the visible satellite picture showing they're uh, kind of spread uh, on and off through the area. The front, though, has uh, pushed on through. Uh, you saw a few snowflakes uh, pushing east of the Sierra now out towards uh, Boise, uh, Idaho Falls, Great Falls, Montana, Salt Lake City. But this is not a major snowstorm for anybody, but still letting you know that winter is still around. Uh, you can see what we call the trough here, just kind of digging across the state. All the energy, though, uh, off to our east, so we don't make rain out of this one. This is what we call an inside slider, and that is typical as we head towards the springtime when the fronts kind of pass us by more to the north. Uh, rain and wind, well, uh, not much in the rain department, but wind is a factor. It's windy now. Winds will lighten up a little bit overnight, and we'll start to clear the skies out. Now, watch what happens tomorrow. This is tomorrow morning, and then by afternoon, see that offshore flow start to kick in? And we don't have any wind advisories at this point, not to say that we couldn't end up with one tomorrow. Winds probably 15 to 25, could see gusts 30, 35, maybe even 40 up in the hills and along parts of the coast. So windy day tomorrow. If you got some of that outdoor furniture, you know, the, the lighter plastic stuff, you might want to uh, take that inside so it doesn't uh, blow around uh, in your neighbor's yard. And then by tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning, see the winds relax, and then we're just back to our light northwesterly wind uh, the next day uh, in the afternoon, although it looks like it'll pick up again too. But again, this is what happens in spring. We get a lot of wind. Uh, off of the ocean, and that will be uh, part of our forecast going for the next couple of months. 41 to 48 overnight, clear to partly cloudy, and that breeze at times, which will diminish later tonight as well before it picks back up again tomorrow afternoon. Low 40s uh, for most, uh, with the wind mixing things around, we probably won't see any 30s in the valleys. I don't think tonight could be some upper 30s maybe, but nothing in the low to mid 30 range like we've been seeing 60 to 66 tomorrow. The wind will be up, so even though it will be nice temperature wise, the thermometer will say 60s. It'll probably feel a little cooler than that. Low 60s, upper 60s, Santa Cruz, 64 Watsonville, 66 Hollister over to Soledad, King City, about 66 and 60 and Ben Loman. Nice looking forecast here, especially if you we're looking for some dry weather, which of course we have had a lot of that lately and through most of the winter. But look at the temperatures by the end of the week into next weekend. So we'll peak sort of on Wednesday for the mini warm up, and then we start really building high pressure in mid 60s to middle 70s, starting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So an extended period of dry weather, as we had predicted last week, will take us through the end of the month without any more rain. But April, yeah, we usually get some rain in April, 30s and 40s. For your overnight low, so it'll still be chilly at night, but real nice weather to start those spring projects. I think we'll get all that going in the next five to seven days. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, very good. Yep.